The men and women of the BFAR who sail the perilous waters of the West Philippine Sea for resupply missions to marginalized fisher folk and the soldiers aboard the BRP Shara Madre represent the best among Filipinos. This latest replenishment expedition to fisher folk in and near Recto Bank is a tale of intestinal fortitude, courage, and unmatched determination in the face of intimidation and outright bullying, as Orion Lasigas narrates. <laughs> A total of 16 maritime militia vessels were spotted around Recto Bank in the West Philippine Sea during a resupply and patrol mission conducted by the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources or BIFAR. Despite this, the mission continues. A thousand liters of diesel worth about 60,000 pesos was given to every mother boat of Filipino fishermen. The fisher folks say they're grateful since it's one less thing to worry about. But one problem remains. China's continued presence in the West Philippine Sea, which they say has led to a reduced fish catch. Lito Alo said they used to catch tons and tons of fish even after a short expedition. Now, they're forced to stay weeks out at sea just to sell enough fish to cover their costs. Sasabina, arangin ka na dyan. Lapit-lapit ng kuwan, yung palawan dyan. Dyan na sila nang harang. Kuwan, uh, marami yan dyan. Barko dyan sa Sabina. Kuwan uh, din doon, mga 30 uh, ka. But despite the situation here, many Filipino fishermen continue to come out here to fish, undeterred by the big Chinese maritime militia vessels surrounding them. Hindi namin kaya rin, tanggol kasi. Wala man kami buwa, mga buwa na ibakal yun yun, mga barko nila, nalaki kami pag kahoy lang. Kaya mahirap mga buwa, mahirap kami ang mga pagtanggol dito kasi buwa na, ito, kahoy lang, kanila baka. Pag pinunggo kami, wala, lubog. Okay lang yung kanila kay bakal, hindi yan basta-basta. Kami ang kawawa kong piliti namin. Kung wala kami mga pagkain at saka mga sigarilyo, magpunta kami, binigyan din kami sa kanila. The next day, as the sun came out, so did the Chinese Coast Guard vessel with boat number 4202. It circled Bifar's ship several times and deployed two speedboats to deliver personnel to a nearby Chinese maritime militia vessel. One speedboat even came near the Filipino fishing boats that lined up to get their gas pumps filled. Authorities believe this latest display of coordination between the two entities could be further proof that Chinese fishing militia is under the CCG's control. The last day of the mission involved an inspection of the 10 payaos that were previously installed by Filipino fishermen in Reed Bank. Some fishermen said only six had been left, but unsure if they were intentionally cut or run over by passing ships. Using a rubber boat, the news team was able to approach one of the payaos which fishermen use to lure more fish. Those reports are still subject for verification, sir. But uh, other than that, sir, yung mga factors na gano'n, sir, pwede naman po natin masabi na tinangay lang po siya ng mga ago, sir. Not necessarily na may pumutol o may nagtanggal po, sir. The BIFAR assures the Filipino fishermen have continued assistance and vows to patrol Recto Bank. Ryan Lisiges from the National TV Network for a new and better Philippines, West Philippine Sea.